Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Tropico 6. The bank balance is not great. Healthcare is down by a very long way. And I suspect that all of the happiness of the people is down to the whole healthcare situation. And so I need to, like, job quality is, is good. Maybe if I put some parks in, it'll help improve things a little bit. Um, public services. Grocery here sells edible goods to provide food to the household of visiting citizens. Consumer goods. Visitors must be at least poor. And then we've got the chapel. There's no wealth requirement. Cannot be built. Clinic cannot be built. Uh, building can be built in World War. So I can't do anything at the moment. I've got to uh, get a clinic. But I need, it's a shop that we need. I've got a bunkhouse. I've got a chapel there. The income. Help first, preach later. Service quality decreased by 10. If visitors have their healthcare happiness lower than 25, they'll also receive healthcare service with a quality of 25. That's good. That's what we want. So we want to have the chapel operating on those kind of standards i've got a country house right there i've got a construction office tiki bar what about a shop though that's another country house bunk house more country house more bunk houses i don't have any shops do i grocery Right, one of these structures right here, I do not seem to have. So if I was to put this one here like this. I'm going to put that one down there on that end. Like that. And there is a grocery shop going in there. And we're also going to look over this side... I've got another chapel over here, and that one I'm going to do help first, preach later. Definitely want to be having that kind of standard on it. And I'm also going to build another grocery store over here. Because I got a plan. I got a, I, I got a plan here. So that chapel is going to go back here. Wait, uh, grocery store, sorry, is going to go back here. And then we're going to go into the road. Wait a minute. I'm just going to go with the one time speed so things are moving. I'm going to bring that one up around there like that. And that's going to go past the chapel. And then that road's going to go over to there. It's going to stop a minute. And I'm going to do the logging camps over here. I need to have logging camps. And I was thinking of having the logging camps up around there. But I'm not going to. Not at the moment. I'm also going to need to do some more cattle ranches. That's another important thing that we've got to do. But no, logging camps first. Those are going to take priority. So we're going to go into industry again. And we're going to go with the lumber mill right there. So I can see the lumber mill has got squares around it. I'm assuming that the lumber mill is best placed up here. I'm going to rotate that round and I'm going to put that one over in that corner like that. And then I'm going to build another lumber mill. And that one's going to go over on this side. Directly in line with that first one. It's going to go over there like that and then we're gonna go oh because i need road to be able to build anymore i'm gonna do a road there like that and then we're gonna have a road that is going to come down here like this that road is actually gonna go there like that and then it's gonna connect across there like that so i'm minus five grand but i've got two lumber mills going in up there which will help the situation plus we've got another grocery store down here which i'm hoping will help things out a little bit uh i've got a dye 
place down here. Uh, sorry, a tannery. I, so I need that. I've got deliver gold going on over that way. Right, why aren't you delivering gold? I seem to have not got very many jobs here. I'm going to increase the budget there for the job quality in the mine. It's going to push that up to 35 so that job quality is good. And that'll keep people happy there with the, the, the whole job thing that we've got going on. And we were, we've researched the circus. That's completed. And now we've got freighters busy bringing things through. And then I've got the Teamsters stuff. I've got the gold mine up here. We've got 18 gold there at the moment. And we're mostly waiting for things in here. So let me have a look in this side. Gold smuggle is still going on. I'm waiting for the golden load. So we've got to wait for that 100 gold to be delivered over here. And it's taking its time. It is taking its time to get here. Just not sure how long it's going to take before it does finally get here. Sugar is starting to build up. Look, we've got a thousand sugar now in storage, plus 75 rum in there. If I look here in the rum distillery, sugar is filling the thing up completely, and then the remaining sugar is going onto the dock in order to be sold. So if we look not in research. I don't want to do research. Uh, edicts. No free lunch. Citizens need to pay a dollar whenever they take food from production or industry building. Broke citizens cannot afford to buy food. Decreases communist standing by five. Decreases religious standing by five. Increases capitalist standing by ten. Yeah, that probably would increase the capitalist. Food for the people. Citizens consume two units of food when eating. Increases general food quality by ten. Decreases capitalist standing by ten. Increases communism by five. It's not a bad idea, though, because that's going to improve overall happiness by quite a long way, isn't it? So, I mean, if we go to the, not the overlays, no, uh, the almanac is the important one that we want to go to. I've got nobody homeless. Overall happiness is 41. Healthcare is the lowest. That's now gone up to 21. Fun, faith, housing, job, crime, food happiness is at 50 already. So that's the highest. It's healthcare. I want something that is going to help us with healthcare. We've got economy, politics, foreign relations, uh, building lists in here, residentials. I've only got one. I don't need any more construction offices, I don't think. Uh, research, no, edicts. This is the one. No free lunch, mandatory siesta, increases job quality at each workplace by 15%, and decreases the efficiency of all workplaces by 12%, decreases the pollution by 10%. Well, that might be a good one. Advanced boats, increase the upkeep of team supports, tourist ports and docks by 50%. Boats, freighters, tourist ships and cargo ships are 5% faster. That would be a particularly good one. And then food for the people... Increases general food quality by 10. So it's going to get people happier with me if I was to do that one. I'm going to go with that one. I, I do like this one here. Ships are faster. But I actually like the Aren't food. Aren't you tired people. of lithe, svelte citizens who are all skin and bones? By doubling food rations, you can make everyone happy. Well, Except for the wealthy tycoons whose market economics thrive on scarcity. But everyone else will be mildly pleased at your generous gesture. Besides, it will be years before the detrimental health effects of chronic obesity will get noticed. Right? Am I right? <laughs> I'm right. I like that. It'll be years before the detrimental health effects of chronic obesity will get noticed. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to issue the edict. Now people get to have tasty food. Food for the people. Hopefully that will increase our... Look, support has just climbed through the roof. Fantastic. I'm very pleased with that. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to do was... Actually, what else was it I wanted to do? I, I can't think of anything. Oh, yes. Ranches. But I'm minus five grand at the moment, so we're going to have to wait just for a minute for that. There was one other thing I wanted to do. I wanted to go to... Trade. Crowd... Crown sends foreign aid, plus 5,500. Trade in here. We can export meat, rum, tobacco, current active ones. I got 3,675 out of 3,750 for sugar, 
fish, we've got none going at the moment. Meat. What am I exporting at the moment? Let's have a look. Sugar, corn, rum, leather, gold. I shouldn't be exporting gold. I need it over here. Raid points, uneducated. Completed trade route sugar. Right, well that one's done, so I need to start on another one. I'll do some rum, because we do sell quite a bit of rum, and we'll go for 3,500. We will go for a big lot of rum this time. Sign the contract, yes. That one can be done right there. So there's four grand in our account at the moment. Uh, get rid of that one. And I wanted to go to... Uh, I just want to have a look in here. And I want to go... What are we doing? Open the raid screen. Gold smuggle. But that one's working now. So I have taken the gold over there. I just got to wait for it to actually finish. I need to build this logging camp. I've built the logging. Wait, what? Inventory of your island is this expensive. So more to the point, a lot of trees look like part chop chop. Have logging camp. I've got a logging camp. What do you think that is? Oh. It's a lumber mill. Uh, lumber mill. What? Oh. Cuts down trees in the vicinity to produce logs. Emits little pollution. Right. I went and built the wrong ones. All right. What we will do is I'm going to plonk one of those right there like that. I'm going to build a couple more of these. And put another one over here. They've got to have roads. Logging camp. Now, the, the magic numbers are like four, two, one. So I think I have four of these. Two of those, and then one factory after that. So I'm going to put another one down over here. So there's plenty for it to work on down over that way. And then I'm going to put one more over here. We've got a logging camp. Spin that bad boy round, and I will drop that one down there. So then I need to put some roads and join all of these together. So I'll put a road into that way and put another road over to there this one down here doesn't need much road that's just got to go in there like that and I need to have a road off that one coming up here and joining into that road up there so I've got four logging camps being built there I also need two more cattle ranches so I've got to go and build those so, cattle ranches, I mean, I've got runs up there. That's mostly for logs, I think, up there. I've got these cattle ranches down here. Let's go and have a look. No, uh, food and resources ranch right there. So, we've got... Yeah, I've got cattle. That's, that's the ones that I want. I need cattle ranch. So, this will tell me the percentage that I can have with my cattle ranches. And so, what I can do is I can actually bring that one. That's... 94% if I can put that one there. If I can bring that one back, that's 95% if I can drop it there. And then do another ranch over here. Efficiency 100% if I can have it on there. So there's two more cattle ranches. And I will connect these via a road... Like this. That road's going to come out to there and then down to there like that. Right. I have got cattle ranches being built over this side. I've got logging camps over the other side. I've now actually got those correct. 30% on support from citizens. Why is my support so low? Happiness. Overall happiness is 41. Fun is 35. And healthcare is way down. This is the problem. I've got no healthcare pr uh, buildings. I, I can't do anything about that. Entertainment buildings, five. Revenue from entertainment buildings, there. So I'm wondering if maybe I need to do something with the entertainment buildings. 
Maybe that's got something to do with it. I mean, I've got the gold smuggle thing going on. Pirates are currently returning. So I'm just going to speed that up a little bit there. And maybe we can have them return. We can get this gold smuggle one finished. Plus, I've got the logging camp one. The, the, the logging camps, they're be busy being built. We'll have our builders here any minute. Which one are they going to build first? There's dudes coming over to this one. Looks like they're coming to this. Yeah, there we go. Right, we're, we're building this one up. That's going to be the first one completed. I suppose that we should do something with all that spare wood, don't you think? Maybe burn it? Hmm? Everyone likes a bonfire. Or, and bear with me here, maybe we could do something profitable with it. What are those thin wooden things called? Plinks? Plomps? Whatever they're called. Make some of those and export them. The crown doesn't pay me to know words. Have lumber mill. We've got two of them. Export planks. Zero of five, nine, fifty. We can extend the mandate by another 24 months. Except, there we go. <laughs> oh, didn't think we'd ever get back to Tropico. Everything is ship-shaped and fashionable, Bristol's captain. Not wrong with me nauticals now. We'd give you a round of applause, but you might have to do with the sound of some one-hand clappings. Governor, you mine gold for the cause, and so earn my respect, but, but shh. It is a respect that must remain secret. The morale of the people has improved. We've never had gold before, no morale for that matter. And more brothers and sisters rush, hurry, walk leisurely to our cause. Though a f our freelance secret trading experts are recruiting very well. Plus five with a re revolutionary standing. Oh, savior of my unworthy life, let me prove my value. Penultimo is sneaky, Penultimo is clever, and Penultimo knows which side his bread is buttered. Thanks to the pirates and my your genius governor, we have established a rather furtive little trade route to export our gold inside coconuts. You see, Lord Wyndham is a naturally suspicious man, but he hates coconuts. So that is where we must hide the gold. Then we can export these gold nuts to raise funds for your campaign of independence. Have coconut harvester, which we got. Have at least one gold mine with the secret protocol work mode. Have active export trade route for gold nuts. Export 150 gold nuts. Right. I need an active export for gold nuts. And I also need this other thing. Now, where's the coconut thing? No. Oh, the coconut thing's over here. This is the coconut harvester over this side. I forgot about that one. Right, there we go. So we, we've got you. Allow local consumption. Upgrades. Coconut cutter. Increase job quality by five. Increases efficiency by 300. Yes, we will definitely do that. I think I've only got one of these buildings. So we will await. Oh, I'm minus eight grand at the moment. I'm probably not going to be doing that. Uh, efficiency... Description, stats, upgrades, settings, coconut harvester, allow local consumption. At least one gold mine. Oh, gold mine with the secret protocol. Active. Right. I need to go to the gold mine and have that on the secret. Almost human protocol. There, building profit, increase efficiency by 15%, decrease job quality by 10 Duration of work shifts increased by 38. Secret adds an additional in stock for coconuts. Mined gold will be hidden in coconuts before it's picked up by Teamsters. We'll have the secret protocol. Which means that we need to have gold out, gold nuts out, coconuts coming in. I'm going to need more coconuts. Now, I'm minus $8,000 at the moment. I need more coconuts. We're going to have to set up some more coconut thingies over here. I'm around 50% support at the moment. Let's have a look down here. 230 sugar, 274 corn down there. I've got... The ranches haven't been built yet. The lumber mills over here. 
these are the ones. We've got logging camps up there. My problem is that I don't have enough people to fulfill all of the jobs. I think that's my main problem. There's just not enough people here to fulfill all the jobs that I've got. That, the crown has sent foreign aid. Food for the people has reached level one. The freighter gave me nine grand. So I got money coming in, but I've also got money well, pouring out. Well, you did the right thing, which is whatever the crown says it is. Cream tea? Let's not get complacent, though. And remember the old saying, today's governor is tomorrow's plantation sweeper. <laughs> Funny to think. I bet your predecessor wishes he could be a plantation sweeper. I don't like this guy at all. We will extend the mandate. Always extend the mandate. Freighter has just pulled in $11,000 right there, which is rather useful to us. Um, but I need... I need more people on the island. That's what I need. I need a lot more people on the island. Or islands. That's, that's our problem, is that we, we need more people here. Right, I've got, at the moment, open the raid screen. The gold smuggle is done. The loot one is... Oh, Pirate Cove loot at the moment. This, this uh, coffee corn and gold. That one's happening right now. If we look in here, I got 232 sugar sitting there. The rum over here. I've got sugar coming in. I've got rum going out. I'm going to increase the budget on this one. Job quality is going way up. Which is fantastic. I'm thinking education would be good. If we could have some media and education. Newspaper increases liberty nearby. Publishes propaganda affecting citizens. Library. Generates knowledge for the research of regime tools. High school can be built in world war. College. Radio station. Childhood. Mausoleum. TV station. Inspiring statue. Inspiring billboard. Space program. Yeah, we won't be doing that anytime soon. So, we don't have education at the moment. Entertainment. I'm wondering if maybe we need to just put a little bit of entertainment down. We're going to buy that one for two and a half thousand. And then we're going to build the thing. So that people can go to the circus. Circus? Circus. Circus and have a little bit of fun. Kick back and relax and unwind. And is right in behind the upper class mansions right here. So you upper upper class tenants need to be filthy rich. Increases rent. Right, no, we don't want to do that. Uh, nobody living in that one. I got one person living in that one. So there are a few people around. We've, we've now got some buildings going up there. I've got ranches up this way. So I've got two more. Humane exploit pasture. Ranch does not decrease the fertility in its vicinity. Decreases efficiency by 15%. I'm going to leave it as it is for a minute and not worry about it. I've got workers here. Upgrades there. Manure fertilizer. Increase efficiency of nearby plantations and hydroponic plantations. It does not stack. I don't have any nearby. I'm thinking... Increasing the quality of the job, because that makes the citizens happier, and I think it also improves the efficiencies. Right there, I've got 100% at the moment. Uh, if I look down here, this is the original one down here. That's 87%. Condition, I'm, I'm losing a little bit due to the condition of the property. Uh, change resource, refit the building, produce different resources. I'm going to go control click there and it's going to increase the budget. It's going to change it, but efficiency is now 112%. Which is a lot better. That's, that's the sort of thing that we want to see. Condition here is 125%. I just don't have the people to man them. That's my, that's my main issue is I just don't have the people here to, to fill all the jobs. That's usually the case with these types of games. I, I know I, I struggle to, to get enough enough people to, to fill all of the jobs that I've got. Like over here we've got monoculture in here. Um, job quality, education required is uneducated. Efficiency is 37%. 
fertility is dropped. I could do with having one of those. Because, like, this one over here, my efficiency is 121%. I have got that building on there. Uh, not upgrades. Efficiency right here. Fertility is minus 4. Budget modifier, budget modifier is 25% on there. So I'm getting a load more from that. Whereas here, efficiency is 37. Uh, you know, that one there, efficiency there is 77. That one is 81. That one is 92. They've got higher wages. I'm going to increase the wages for all of these as well. So that goes up to 102. This one's only 62%. I'm thinking we need to put another ranch up here somewhere. Do something with one of those. No, maybe we won't at the moment. I forgot that I'd paused everything. But we'll leave, we'll leave the ranches at the moment. So there, we've got corn, meat, and sugar being exported. And then if we go to our edicts, research, raid, trade. I have a leather trade route that I can take. I can buy another one of these. Fish right in there. I'm not exporting any fish at all. We need to build some more fish things. Rum. I've exported a thousand so far. 10% above standard, which is great. That is absolutely fantastic. Gold nuts over here. I need to export gold nuts. Standard. Sign a contract for 5,000 gold nuts. And I need to export planks as well. Sign that contract. Purchase 2,500. Right, I've signed the contract. Gold nuts. Corruption is so rife, Governor, that we have to pay a bribe to find out how much to pay in bribes. Build a newspaper. Have all newspapers use the independent work mode and accept the demand uh, in time, 180 days. We need to build a newspaper. Right, the loot one over here. Complete the loot raid. That one's got to be nearly finished. And then raid screen. If we come up against a problem, executing mission. It's still underway. It's it's coming along. It's 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 going to take a, a minute or two yet, but there doesn't seem to be any complications. More, Governor. More. Always more. Hop to it. The crown demands. All right, pecking order. We've, we've read all of those before. Fulfill export trade route with the crown. I accept. Right. Crown trade route. I have got a trade route that we're currently working on right now with the crown, uh, which is... Oh, we got new ones here. There's another fish, uh, leather, sugar, tobacco. I'm, I'm doing fish, rum... Well, fish and rum at the moment. I'm doing gold nuts as well, but uh, we'll leave those... Rum right there. I've done a thousand out of three and a half, and then I've got zero fish have been done so far. Now I'm minus twelve grand. I need some more. My problem is that the you we're gonna need to hire some foreign workers, I think. Alright, I can boost that one up. Get some more efficiency and increase the budget a little bit. But then that does cost us money. It's just getting... I don't have people here. I'm going to need to start hiring foreign workers. I think maybe I will. Oh, I don't have enough money now. Raid complete. There we go. We got 200 gold, 1600 corn, 1000 coffee. The crown has just sent me some foreign aid. And we've run out of time for today's episode. Even tyrannical despots need to take a little bit of time off work occasionally. Uh, there's a few names appearing on the screen for you from the Great Book of Names. Just my little thank you to everybody that supports the channel. The names will change after every episode as I cycle through the lists. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.